Welcome to the video that I've entitled A Much Too Quick Overview of Gilles Deleuze and Félix Guattari's two-volume Capitalism and Schizophrenia, structured around the concepts of critique of psychoanalysis, desire and politics, the rhizome, capitalism, schizoanalysis, the nomad, lines of flight, intensities and multiplicities, and becoming. This video was written, produced, and is presented by me. Andrew Chapman. Gilles Deleuze and Félix Guattari's two-volume work, Capitalism and Schizophrenia, is a groundbreaking exploration of the relationship between power, desire, and the social order. Published in 1972 and 1980, respectively, Anti-Oedipus and A Thousand Plateaus challenge traditional models of thought and offer new ways of understanding the world. Gilles Deleuze (1925–1995) was a French philosopher known for his influential contributions to post-structuralism, ontology, and the philosophy of film. He taught at the University of Paris and the University of Vincennes, and was a prolific writer, publishing numerous books and essays throughout his career. Deleuze's work often challenged traditional philosophical frameworks and emphasized the importance of creativity, difference. And becoming. Félix Guattari (1930–1992) was a French psychotherapist and philosopher who worked closely with Deleuze. Guattari's work focused on the intersection of psychoanalysis and social and political activism, and he developed the concept of schizoanalysis as a way of understanding the creative potential of mental illness. He was also a political activist and a key member of the anti-psychiatry movement in France. Deleuze and Guattari collaborated on several works, including Capitalism and Schizophrenia, which remains their most influential contribution to contemporary thought. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Europe was experiencing significant social and political upheaval. The events of May 1968 in France marked a turning point as students and workers came together to challenge the existing order. This period of radical change gave rise to new ideas and movements, including post-structuralism and postmodernism. It was in this context that Deleuze and Guattari wrote Anti-Oedipus, the first volume of Capitalism and Schizophrenia. The book was a response to traditional psychoanalytic models of the psyche and their emphasis on the Oedipus complex. The authors rejected this framework, arguing that it reinforced societal norms and reinforced hierarchies of power. Deleuze and Guattari's critique of psychoanalysis is a central theme of anti-Oedipus. They argue that the traditional model of the psyche reinforces societal norms and reinforces hierarchies of power. They propose an alternative understanding of the psyche that is based on the idea of desire and its potential to challenge and transform power relations. The authors propose that desire is not only a psychological or individual phenomenon, but also a social and political one. They argue that desire has the potential to challenge and transform power relations. In this view, Desire is seen as a positive force that can be used to create new forms of social and political organization. Deleuze and Guattari introduced the concept of the rhizome, a non-hierarchical and non-linear structure of connections between different elements. They suggest that the rhizome can be a model for thinking about social and political organization outside of traditional power structures. In this view, the rhizome represents a way of thinking and being that is not tied to fixed social structures and boundaries. The book argues that capitalism creates a schizophrenic condition in individuals and society characterized by a constant desire for new forms of production and consumption, as well as a sense of disconnection and alienation from oneself and others. This critique of capitalism is a central theme of anti-Oedipus. Deleuze and Guattari introduce the concept of schizoanalysis, which aims to understand the nature of desire and the unconscious. The authors argue that traditional psychoanalytic approaches are limited in their ability to explain the complexities of desire and the ways in which it interacts with social and political structures. 
Schizoanalysis, on the other hand, seeks to break down these structures and understand desire as a dynamic and creative force that is constantly in flux. The goal of schizoanalysis is to liberate desire from the constraints of societal norms and conventions, allowing individuals to fully explore and express their desires in new and innovative ways. Deleuze and Guattari propose the idea of the nomad, a figure who operates outside of fixed social structures and boundaries. They suggest that the nomad represents a way of thinking and being that is not tied to traditional power relations and hierarchies. In this view, the nomad represents a positive force for change and transformation. The authors introduce the concept of lines of flight, which represent the potential for escape or resistance to dominant power structures. They argue that lines of flight are essential for creating new forms of social and political organization. This concept is closely linked to the idea of the nomad, as both represent a way of breaking free from fixed social structures and boundaries. Deleuze and Guattari propose that reality is made up of intensities and multiplicities rather than discrete objects or entities. This view suggests that everything is connected and that change and transformation are always possible. The concept of intensities is closely linked to the idea of desire, as both represent a positive force for change and transformation. The concept of multiplicities is closely linked to the rhizome, as both represent a way of thinking about the world that is non-hierarchical and non-linear. Deleuze and Guattari introduce the concept of becoming, which represents a process of transformation and change that is ongoing and never complete. They argue that becoming is essential for creating new forms of social and political organization and that it is a positive force for change. In this view, becoming is not tied to fixed identities or categories, but is a process of constant experimentation and exploration. Capitalism and Schizophrenia was a groundbreaking work that contributed to the development of a wide range of disciplines, including philosophy, sociology, and cultural studies. One of the most significant impacts of the book has been its innovative approach to understanding power, desire, and social organization. Deleuze and Guattari's conceptualization of power as a diffuse and decentralized force has challenged traditional notions of power as emanating from a centralized authority. Their emphasis on desire as a dynamic and creative force that interacts with social and political structures has also challenged traditional psychoanalytic approaches to understanding desire and the unconscious. Capitalism and schizophrenia has also received criticism, particularly for its emphasis on individual desire and its neglect of larger structural forces. Some scholars have argued that the authors overemphasize the role of individual agency and underemphasize the impact of larger social and economic structures. Critics have also pointed out that the book's radical approach to understanding power and desire has been accused of romanticizing individual liberation at the expense of collective action. Additionally, the book's innovative language and complex concepts have also been criticized for being difficult to understand and therefore not accessible to a wider audience. In conclusion, Capitalism and Schizophrenia has been a highly influential work that has left a lasting impact on contemporary thought. Deleuze and Guattari's innovative approach to understanding power, desire, and social organization has inspired generations of scholars and thinkers, and their ideas continue to be relevant and influential today. While the book has faced criticism for its neglect of larger structural forces and its difficulty in accessibility, its contributions to the development of new theoretical frameworks and the emergence of post-structuralism cannot be overstated. Thanks for watching this video, which I entitled A Much Too Quick Overview of Gilles Deleuze and Félix Guattari's Two-Volume Capitalism and Schizophrenia Structured Around the Concepts of Critique of Psychoanalysis, Desire and Politics, the rhizome, capitalism, schizoanalysis, the nomad, lines of flight, intensities and multiplicities, and becoming. This video was written, produced, and presented by me, Andrew Chapman.